Good morning, y'all. Hopefully everyone's having a great morning or evening or day, whatever time you are watching currently. I'm heading over to Alvin's place. Alvin is a good friend that uh, lets me hunt on his private property. He's got a really nice piece of piece of land where he's got food plots and different things of that nature, a bunch of blinds everywhere. You've seen me hunt there on my uh, deer videos from last year. And then I also got two turkeys this year off his property. I'm heading over to his property right now and uh, we're gonna do some blind prepping. He's got a bunch of blinds on this property set up for different winds and for, for different food plots, obviously. Different, you know, travel corridors and stuff like that that we hunt. And um, uh, so we're gonna do some blind maintenance right now, prep them. They all got mice nests in them. <laughs> when I was, uh, when I went turkey hunting in that one, you seen in that last, in one of the turkey videos that I was at, I was like, had to chase mice out of there because they had claimed that property. So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today is just prepping the blinds, cleaning them out, getting all the rats and the mice out of there, um, fixing chairs, maybe fixing some of the, the window curtains or whatever, pretty much just a blind maintenance day. So should be fun few hours. It's a good time to do that right now. It's a couple of weeks away from the season. So it's a good time to do that almost maybe a little bit too close to season but it's better late than uh, never doing it it'll settle down by the time season starts you know but it should be a good time to do that is all monarch butterfly habitat uh -huh. and die in the winter and then uh, from the shooting house we can mow strips in it to catch deer as they're crossing but I think deer are gonna bed in it during the season so I want to go Where back to using possible. I've got a trail up through these cedars that goes to the blind so I want to start using that so we don't spook deer over here. Uh -huh. They in the summer they bed in the cedar trees for the shade, but they don't in the winter. It's pretty barren ground, you'll see. So once we do the blind, then we're going to work our way this way on that trail, uh, cleaning it up. I think, and right here is where the worst of it is. Is out here in the. Look at this big old orb spider. <laughs> that thing's huge. Going full on Mortal Kombat mode in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, up on the wall, on the, on the seat, on the roof. Okay, you can smell that fogging oil or fog, fogging spray. It's pretty strong.
right there. The raccoons under here? size of that thing huge that's got the foam version let me tell their nest I think they all flew out of there when that spray went off. Like, so you well. got some giant spiders right there too. Wow. Wow, you got a bunch of stuff. Cockroaches. Yeah, they flew away. There's about four on this one when I looked at it. Last year they built a couple of big ones right in the crack there and they don't have any in there. All right, this should be all windexed right. and clean. Your head is spotlighted. You mean like my white face? No, just your head. Uh-huh. So when a deer is looking down the trail and he sees the blind, they see this thing bobbling inside. Mm -hmm. Well, the way, the way this will work is we can basically... Um, and that's the one thing I figured out. You don't have to cover the whole thing. You just, if you have it all the way around, yeah. then what's behind you also blocks you. Yes. So yep. they just can't see in as easily. Uh, all right. Plus, so. they, plus they know that the blind's here already, you know. Yeah. They could be on alert, but. Yeah, they know the blind's there, but they walk by it all the time. They're used to it. They're used to it, you know. And the tricky part is getting in there quiet enough and whatever, so. I'll just do like a little bit of a haircut. Yep. Something like this, maybe, possibly, that's okay. This one's really down. That look better? Yeah. Should be pretty good. And my mom's like, well, I think it's time that we stop. <laughs> but every once in a while, I would get the hand. The hand felt pretty bad, usually. Oh, yeah. My mom had a pair of wooden shoes. Ouch. 
Or uh, one of her brothers sent her during World War, after World War II. Uh huh. And I hated that. My uncle, who gave her those wooden shoes, because she would grab them off the shelf and pop me on the butt. Yep. Dad had a belt. He only had to use it on me once, but the sound of that belt coming through those belt loops, oh my gosh. My grandma had a, a twig from like a, like a, I don't know what kind of a tree it was, but it was much, you can bend it in half and it won't break. Yep. And that thing was as thin as the probably switch we called it. Yeah, that one, oh boy. Of course, we all deserved it. We weren't listening, but you know, when you're 10 years old and 13 and whatever, 12, if that thing hits you, oh boy, you'll be feeling that for a week. Yep. But you usually don't do whatever you did again. Usually. Nowadays, they call that child abuse. Just a little bit, right? Not crazy? Pretty easy, yeah. Must have good soil here. Yeah, pretty wet. Yeah, right here is where that hen was. When I was sitting here, the hen kept circling here, eating. Yeah, see, this is all winter peas and stuff. It's coming up here really good and getting up through there better than I thought it would. I thought the shade might shut it down. But I think because it's such a it's a low bottom. It's moist in here. Yeah, a lot of moisture in the ground. I think. So that's a good thing that it's coming up. And then pull the floor up, which may have some nasty stuff underneath it. Oh yeah. I got seed ticks all over my arm. Oh yeah? But they're all dead. Wonder if the permethrin killed them. I bet you. I don't know if you can see that or not. See all those little tiny dots? Yeah. That's all seed ticks. I don't want them crawling in my skin. Did we grab any kind of water or anything? Uh, check for water in the seat up there. We can run up to the house. That permethrin really does its job. I can smell it on my clothes, you know. Alright, so we just came downstairs to this like hunting type of uh, man cave, if you want to call it, kind of where you like dress up, dress down. Pretty cool little spot. It's got some deer up here, I'll show you. It's got that. Here's a couple smaller bucks. What is this one? A one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, ten point. Got a really nice uh, trophy room collection upstairs, but I don't know if he's letting me record that or not that'd be an awesome video i think you guys would really enjoy that seeing all those animals got a lot of animals on the wall so we just came up here washed down kind of washed my arms i got seed ticks all over me but i soaked my clothes in permethrin last night so they're dying what's funny is like you can see them on my arms those little tiny little dots but um they're dead they're not moving at all so does the permethrin wear off on your arms too? I didn't spray my arms, I just sprayed my clothes, but 
It must be that strong or something. I don't know. I can smell it coming off my clothes. clean out another blind here if y'all remember this is the blind right here where i got busted when i dropped when i drew back on those does they came out right over here and uh they always came out of the, all of this bedding right here and they came out and they would always feed over here and i was sitting in this blind and that's where i got busted uh and then i always i had to deer cross over there across the, the driveways back over here but um I did one sit right over here, not this cedar tree, the tree after it, I think, yeah, yeah, this, this second tree right here is where I climbed up, and I watched a bunch of does and a small buck walk over there, and they just really, they just eat all this, especially when he plants all this, and all the brassica and the, and the wheat and all that come up. That's where uh, deer are going to be eating in here. There's always scrapes over here in the, when the pre rut action starts right underneath all the cedar trees. So there's plenty of deer in here. So we'll see here in a month or two how much it's all going to grow in and how much more deer start coming into this field and stuff. So, But right now we're going to clean out this blind, get some more wasps out of there, get all the mice out of there, and just get this one prepped for season. Yeah. You got you got acorns in this tree. Yep. It's gonna say it's a good food source. Are they gonna come in this year? Yeah, they're right there. Just, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I see them. Yeah, this. I don't know. I think this is. Yeah, that's a white oak. The deer prefer this, but I don't know how much, how close they can get to eating within all the stuff, you know. But if you're feeding them in the food plot, so I'm not gonna go in the glass. Nope. Okay. Can huge nest one in here. Just spray that one. Get all those guys crawling on the ground. Let me get all the leaves out of here. Is 
just broke up the outline, you know, the white. Yeah. up for the day. Going to pit, pick, pick up Alvin and uh, I think we'll call it a day. It's getting real hot. All right, so we just finished up. <clears throat> Got back to the house, cleaned up. And we're heading over to uh, get some lunch. He's buying me lunch for helping him out. So yeah, it was just a fun little uh, uh, cleanup vlog or whatever you want to call this. Um, helped him clean up some blinds. Uh, kind of help build a uh, fence at the end so deer don't use that area so deer tend to go around so uh, clean up some blinds killed a bunch of hornets and wasps I mean there's a, a lot in there thankfully didn't get stung today got quite a bit done and prep some of the blinds for season so us being in there and leaving all our scent and stuff it should be gone within a month or something something like that but season's like in a week but I don't think he's gonna hunt it the first few weeks at least I'll probably hunt it if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button uh, comment subscribe helps out the channel feeds the growth so uh, I'll see you on the next one guys see ya